On the card is an eight rounder. It's a light heavyweight contest. We're going to welcome both of our boxers to the stage now. First of our boxers is from Bradford. Seven career victories to his name. Introducing Jermaine Springer. And now to make his way to the stage as well from Birmingham, the former English and British Mike Henry, champion 14 professional career victories to his name, introducing Shakan Pitton. Ready to go again? I learned a lot about my uh, character in that fight. Um, obviously, I was in situations myself I never found myself in, but um, you know, I carried on. I pressed on. Um, it was a fight I believe. You know, I was winning. I, I'm very hard and critical on myself, but it's a fight I believe I was winning. But um, being back in the gym with the lads and you know, working on things with my coach, it's been good. We worked on numerous things, and um, it all showed. And this Saturday, for sure. And even though it was a defeat, seeing him you know, going on to, to that world title fight and fight well against Wibble, does that put you in more confidence? Because, as you say, you thought you were winning that fight up until then. So it means that you're in the mix at that level. To be honest, I don't get any confidence from his performance. I know the people may look and think, you know, oh, he's, you know, he done well, which he did. You know, he gave a good account of himself. But I don't base my career and myself as a boxer based on another fighter. Um, I believe it's a fight I should have won and as I said I was winning but um, nevertheless he gave a good account of himself and I'm sure you know going forward with uh, Hennessy Stable I'll be there myself um, you know pushing on from to, uh, in that situation myself. How important is it for you to make a statement this Saturday night? It's important for me to look good and to get the win. Um, you know, Jermaine uh, is a game fighter, he's a decent fighter, decent record, and you know, he's gonna obviously bring it as well, so I've gotta be switched on, which I am. I've had a good camp, I've trained hard for this, and um, it's important for me to, you know, put out a dominant performance, for sure. And Jermaine, as well, just to bring you in, Shaq, I just said you're a decent fighter, so he obviously holds you in high esteem as well. Coming into lockdown, you've got seven victories, uh, with just one defeat. A year off? How's the year off affected you? How have you kept going during that year? Um, I've been one of the lucky fighters during COVID, to be honest, because I just got a fight just before lockdown in March, um, and also I fought in November, um, and now, now I'm fighting. Um, so I've almost had three fights, and most of the box in my similar position have not fought, so I'm in good position. Have you kept yourself going as well during lockdown? I know you fought in November, you, you suffered defeat in, the, in uh, November as well, but you kept yourself in campus, so to speak, during lockdown? Yeah, 100%. Um, I take boxing seriously. So after the, after the fight, my last fight, obviously I lost. I was, I was obviously gutted about the fight, but I maintained uh, my work ethic in the gym, and this has led me to be ready for this opportunity. Last time, I didn't uh, quite grasp the opportunity, but this time I'm looking to grasp both the opportunity with both hands. And Shaq has said to you as well, you're a good fighter, you're a tough fighter. Maybe, maybe a chance to have your thoughts on Shaq as well, because no doubt you'll have been watching Shakan and Trey Richards, so just sort of your thought of the Saturday boys. Yeah, I know Shakan's a good fighter. Um, I've been following his journey way before um, I was a potential opponent. I know he's a good fighter, and I'm ready. And is this the right fight for you now as well? Both you guys are coming into this fight off a defeat. Who's going to be the most hungry? Is it the right fight for you now, Jermaine, this one? Yeah, I think it's the right fight, but I think I learned a lot from my last fight, and that's uh, given me the confidence to, to be ready and to be confident in this fight. Um, obviously, some of the mistakes I've made, I've been working at the gym. And overall, uh, since my last fight, I just feel like I've grown in confidence, and I've just grown just as a person, really. Shankar, what kind of fight are you expecting you, Jermaine, to bring on Saturday night? You're both coming off the defeat, so you're wanting to, to make a good performance. I know, you know, I respect it. Firstly, I respect any fighter who gets in the ring. I know um, for himself as well, um, you know, it's an opportunity for him to put on a, you know, a display and show his skills as a fighter as well. But for me, I, I don't go in there thinking and focusing what he's going to bring. As I said, I respect him as a fighter. I know he's a, um, you know, he's a decent fighter and things like that. But I've got to go in there knowing what I've got to do and um, whatever adjustments I need to be make. You know, we're prepared while in the gym for this, and i would made the adjustments on the night. But I know that in my head going in there, uh, you know, no pressure. I've got to get the win, but I've also got to look good doing it as well. So I know what I've got to do. And providing all good 
good well Saturday night, you get the win. Then what are you wanting ahead of that? What's your sort of 12 month goal? As for my team, you know, obviously for Mick Hennessy to do for me, I'm all focused on, you know, this Saturday getting the job done, looking good. You know, we welcome the fans back now, so it's good to actually, you know, have this particular kind of vibe with the fans there and the audience there on a great on the card. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in there and get the win and focus on this Saturday. How excited are you to, to get the fans back? Not as many as we you know, would be full, but to have any fans there, you know, how important is that? Um, obviously, I'm one of the fighters who've been lucky, as Jermaine said, you know, I've had um, fights myself through the, through the lockdown as well. Um, so obviously, having the fans back now, um, it's a credit for them to see the setup of Channel 5 and, you know, the setup what Hennessy does as well. So, um, and obviously, it's a great card. So, for me, I'm more focused on the job in the ring. It's good for my loved ones and my family to be there and everyone, you know, friends to see me get the win this Saturday as well. There we are, we've got two very hungry boxers this coming Saturday evening, both going into Saturday night on the back of defeat, so both will be striving for the victory. They're in a scheduled eight round light heavyweight contest, which forms part of our Hennessy Sports Bill at the Sky Dome Coventry. Time for your pictures, the Shackham Pitters and Jermaine Springer. Thank you very much guys, thank you. Left hand, thank you guys. There we are, we wish you all the very best.